Hey everyone, it's Wellens and welcome to Burn House Lane. This is the newest title by Harvester Games, the dev of The Cat Lady, Downfall, and Lorelei, which were horror point-and-click adventure games I played on the channel a few years ago. They're pretty distinctive, I think. They've got their unique identity, especially the cat lady, which I think probably has the most memorable babysitter in all of video gaming. Hello. <laughs> is this fart number eight? My name is Rita Tickle from the Happy Nanny Agency. May I come in, please? No! So yeah, I don't think too much else needs to be said. I believe this game is completely not connected with the previous ones, but I suspect we'll probably see references here and there. We're playing as somebody named Angie Weather today. Let's go. Ooh. Safe often and be cautious. Most enemies will kill you with a single hit. Think twice before you say or do something. Your choices have consequences that cannot be undone. Well, that's reassuring. Hi Angie, it's Tracy from the agency. I have good news. A job's come up, and it's a big one, just like you wanted. It's a long drive, southwest, right in the middle of bloody nowhere, but... It's just one elderly gentleman living on a farm. Early dementia symptoms, so it's all pretty standard. You'll need to do some light cooking, but nothing too crazy, you know the drill. His regular care is off sick, and he needs someone to keep an eye on the poor chap until she gets back. I'd go myself. It sounds like a lovely holiday in the country, but, you know, kids and I'm stuck in the office, as always. But you'll love it there. I'm sure you will. Uh, Angie? I can't. Something's come up. I'm sorry. So I'm like a nurse, but not the kind at a hospital, the kind that goes to people's houses. Alright. No, the last thing I want is the coffee table breaking under my weight before I'm even ready. What? What does that mean? That's me and James on our wedding day. Why do I still have it? I should have thrown this away ages ago. Are we divorced? Oh! Shit. The glass is everywhere. Smoking at ashtrays saves your progress. That's not good. Not a good habit to get into. I don't look like I'm doing too well mentally. Which, I guess, is the theme with these games all the time. Uh, okay. Um... Okay, you, you wanna go up, right? Yeah, I don't know what she was talking about with a coffee table, I'm a little bit worried. I have two TVs? There's no escaping it. I have two TVs in my house. Oh no. A rope. It seems strong enough for the little old me. Ah. Uh, what? Why do we not do that? Uh... How about we don't? How about we don't? Yeah, that's um. Hmm. Whoa. F this shit, time to end the pain. No escape, do it! There's no way out. It won't hurt. Angie, what's going on? What's going on?
Uh, wait, this room? This is just the same room but mirrored, isn't it? Ooh, do I? Mmm. I guess we have to. I don't like that. Oh, no, no, no. I mean, if we can stop it, I'd love to. I just don't think this actually changes anything, though. That's the thing. Oh. These last two months have been the best months of my life. Will you marry me? A nurse falling in love with a patient? God, no. Oh no. Marrying a dying man. I never understood why she did it. Japan? Are you kidding me? Of course I want to go. It, it's only like the best place on earth. Ah. Uh. I'm afraid the patient is not responding to the treatment. We should start planning palliative care. April. That's perfect. We're gonna see the cherry blossoms. James really shouldn't be traveling in his current condition. I'm sorry, but I can't allow it. Is James gone already? It's all right. We'll go once I'm done with this <sighs> fucking keeper. Angie. I'm... Sorry, he was... James was a great guy. I'm sorry for your loss. I'm sorry for your loss. I'm sorry for your loss. <gasps> That's a nasty cop, Angie. Should go have that locked out. Are you okay? You look a bit pale. Mm. I felt that sorry for her, but no one really said anything. I have bad news, Mrs. Weber. Worst, I'm afraid. It's lung cancer. All the smoking. Late stages. But didn't her husband die of cancer last year? Both of them? What are the odds? Maybe if we found it sooner. But at this point, it's so far gone, there's nothing we can do. I'm sorry, Mrs. Weber. We cannot cure your cancer. You have about six months left to get it. Break. Hmm. Marrying a dying patient, him dying, and now we're dying. I don't have anything to live for. Fuck. But the fates are saying, not today. Tracy, I've changed my mind. I'll take that job. That's great. I'll be honest. I thought people would fight each other over those few weeks in Devon, but guess what? Nobody wants to go. The clean country air, the double pay... I mean, what's not to like? But it's alright. I've got my best nurse on the job now. It's all good. I, I know things have been hard for you. I'm glad you've changed your mind. It'll be good for you to go out there and, um... Tracy. This is probably my last job. I just need to save up some money and then I want to travel for a bit. Go to Japan. See the cherry blossoms. Well, okay. You've not had a holiday abroad for years. By all means, go. But you'll be back, right? Mm -hmm. I'll let you know when I get back home. Bye.
when you're alone, when you live alone and you don't necessarily talk to people all day long, it feels like it's so easy for your mindset to not go in a great direction. Chapter 1, Don't Let the Cats In But what if I'm a crazy cat lady? While I'm here... A fancy white car. It probably belongs to the farmer's daughter. I'm supposed to be meeting her here. Somebody needs my care? It's a sheep pen. I better keep the gate shut. Who knows what these sheep can do? Okay, I don't want to be diabolical here. I want- I actually want this job. Double pay. Let's not piss people off. Oh. Which is the main house? This is a garage? I should probably say hello to the owners first. Good idea. You must be Angie then. Come in, come in. Oh, you're a lifesaver. Dad's regular carer was in a car accident recently. Nothing life-threatening. But she's had some pins and screws put in her knee and it'll be months before she can get back to work. Now, I would have loved to take Dad with me to the city. I could have him close to where I work. I'd look after him myself. But he won't have it, the stubborn old fool that he is. Still, he's lived in this house his whole life. He was born just there in the other room. Oh, wow. He might as well spend what time he has left here on the farm where he's happy, right? Born in the house? That's... Wow, I don't know what kind of... Hmm. I guess people around these parts... It's probably the hospital's really far away. They're on the countryside. Yes. It's a beautiful place, indeed. It is. I can appreciate it more now. But to be honest, for a young girl growing up here wasn't exactly exciting. Not everyone was born to be a farmer, right? Mm-hmm. You should meet Dad. Come with me. He's in the lounge. After you. Well, she seems pleasant enough. Goodbye now. I'm, I'm done. <laughs> Yeah, it's a little bit of an old house, but hey, they live comfortably here. It's a generational home, I bet. Me, Angie, Dad. She's gonna look after you until Joyce gets back. Hello, dear. Hi. Oh, sorry, that's from the office. I should take it. So the daughter regularly is not around. Hello? Hi, Sam. No, I shan't be long. I'm just showing the house to that new nurse. I'll be back before five, half past tops. Oh, I know. He always does that. Yeah. See you soon. Ta-ta! Oh, I'm really strapped for time today, I'm afraid. I'll just explain everything quickly and leave you to it. I'll need you to cook for George. He prefers the good old classics, nothing too complicated. The truth is, he'd just eat sandwiches every day if he could. But don't let him do that. I'll leave you a list of his favorite meals. Anything that's there, just help yourself. Little bit of cooking? I was warned about this. Here's Dad's bedroom. He might occasionally need help with this or that, but on most days, he still manages to dress on his own. And here's the bathroom he uses. Again, just watch him to make sure he doesn't slip on the tiles and break a zip or something. Dad likes to be called George. 
You can take him for a walk sometimes if the weather's okay, but he prefers to spend most of the day here watching TV. That means you'll have plenty of time left for yourself. There's lots of old books in the house if you ever get bored, and an old computer in the office. But I'm not sure if it works. And finally, my old bedroom. That's your space now, so make yourself at home. Just don't let the cats in. They get too cozy indoors and they never want to leave. <laughs> okay. Oh, I live here. I'm gonna live here too. How long is this assignment? <gasps> Hello? It's got a key. You saw that, right? It had a key. I've left a little guidebook on the kitchen table for you. Make sure to check it every now and then, you know, when you get stumped. And please, keep a close eye on George. I know he seems fine most of the time, but he does have his moments. Okay. Well, I'm sure we'll be fine. He seems... Actually, he didn't say a single word, so I don't know how he seems. We'll figure it out. We're an expert. Yeah, best nurse. Let's go. Not before smoke, though, which isn't very professional of me. Big old wardrobe. If I ever need to hide a dead body, there will be room for at least two in there. Aw. Okay, got it. Got you. <laughs> if I ever find something pretty, I can put it up on the shelf. And put yourself up on the shelf then. Nights are always bright in the city, but here, in the country, it might be useful to have a torch with me, just in case. It's one of those things that immediately clue me that, oh, this isn't a North American game. A torch, a flashlight. Okay, no one's gonna hurt me. We should talk to George first, shouldn't we? It's locked. Is that George? Why is the lighting so creepy? My gosh. Looks like a hamster cage. I can't tell from down here if there's a hamster inside of it. Big house, but people don't really- Oh my god, that door has a gigantic hole in it. A hole in the wall. I can see the other room through it. Hmm. All the kids moved out. The people who are here who don't want to move are... while well, they're getting old and dying, frankly. George's bed. Nothing fancy, of course. An old guy like George doesn't care much about the comforts of the modern world. Apparently, they only have a barely working computer. Just another houseplant. It's an old suitcase. Covered in dust. It wouldn't feel right to look inside. It's most likely George's personal things. Mm, this home has multiple floors, right? I mean, that in itself is not very elderly friendly. And putting stuff up that high, he can't even reach for it. Oh, here's the room. Oh, there's a computer. Pressing the on button doesn't seem to do anything. Have you tried plugging it in? Are we attached to electricity? This is a big house. Ooh. The bathroom sink. Clearly this is George's space. There are shaving utensils on the side and bits of hair everywhere. A tub is not... That whole, like, you know, getting your leg in the tub, I think is a big challenge for the elderly. Would be nice if we could get um, a shower going on, but I don't think they plan on renovating the home anytime soon. Especially since all the kids moved out. Looks pretty clean. I guess George uses the other bathroom upstairs. Does it still look clean? Uh... Uh, okay.
Don't think we needed to do that, but let's flush. Because not flushing is disgusting. Oh, you know what else lately that I think is disgusting? Not closing the lid before flushing. So much stuff comes out. Like, I don't even want to think about it. Ugh. It's a bathroom sink. It leads to the basement. Uh, let's talk to George first. It's a family portrait. This little boy. Could it be George? And the girl? His older sister, perhaps? Sister. I don't know much about plants, but it's a nice plant, I guess. Yeah, we had plants back in uh, the Cat Lady as well. Is it the same plant? I don't know. Empty wine bottles. They could be used as candle holders if I was a romantic type. Too bad I'm not. Candle holders? Like sticking the candle in the, the bottleneck area? I've never heard of it being done like that before. Hmm. How come I don't recognize this area at all? Ah, uh, here we are. Okay, one second then. What the? Oh, we're straight out leaving. This goes beyond old, I think. It looks like not maintained. Oh! This looks like a dug-up tiny grave. There is a slightly decomposed hamster inside it. Can we finish burying it? Okay. I know. I, oh, I can. Yeah, I can run. But I, I, li I like how it looks when we're walking. So it's fine. We don't have to run all the time. And there's a birdhouse. And apparently cats around here. A cat with a key. I'm sorry, George. You're probably hungry and stuff already. Nice plant. It's an old CRT TV. You can't buy these nowadays. Would you want to buy one? It's an urn. If I had to guess, I'd say it's holding ashes of George's late wife. It's probably better not to touch it. Okay. George seems completely focused on the TV. Hi, George. Anything good on the telly? Oh, yeah. Uh, it's uh, one of those... Um, American films. Ah, right. I'm, like, completely blocking his view. <laughs> You hungry? Well, I don't know. Oh, I, uh, I suppose I could always do with a nice sandwich if you have one. Lady said don't give him a sandwich because he always has one. Fancy a cup of tea? I just had one, thank you. Okay. Would you like a blanket? Well, that's very sweet of you, dear. But no. Thank you. I'm quite warm. Okay. He seems completely here. Good to see. Wanna go for a walk? Oh. Uh, that's a bit windy, isn't it? I suppose. I think I'll give it a miss, if you don't mind. No, no worries. Yeah. Sure. Less work for me. I am not telling him this is all bloody awful. Okay, that- remember, things- choices matter. <laughs> Let me know if you need anything, yeah? Uh, right, oh dear. <laughs> Will do. You should get up once in a while, though. Easy for our legs to go bad if we don't work on them. It's a big fern. Whoa, did you see that smooth animation? My god, whoa! Porn flakes. My goodness. Can of tuna. Fancy tea box. It's a slightly rusty kitchen sink. I can't see a dishwasher, so I'm guessing it'll have to I'll have to wash everything old school here. A to 
torch, a can of cheap processed tuna in brine, a red herring. Ooh, tuna is one of the worst brands on the market. I don't want George to eat this crap. Tea box. It's a rather nice tea box. No tea inside, sadly. What? Why do we even bother picking it up then? This must be the guidebook Sarah's told me about. I'll take it with me. How nice of her to write something up. Because I forgot a lot of what she said already, probably. If you get lost, a guidebook will always tell you what to do. Make a sandwich for George. Really? Water the plants. I thought he didn't want the sandwich. I mean, he wants a sandwich, but I thought she said not to give him a sandwich. Is this really the only watering can around? Where do I get water? Just from the sink, maybe? Cooking isn't my strong suit, but old George doesn't really strike me as a fussy type. A note. Handwritten note from Sarah. If the electrician comes by to collect the tools he left in the basement last week, please tell him. I've put his toolbox in the workshop outside, at the front yard. Thanks, Sarah. Today is Tuesday, the 3rd of September. Interesting. Hmm. I'm gonna hold off on the meal for a second, if you don't mind. I'm gonna check out what's going on outside. This is the workshop mentioned earlier. That is, uh... Mm, not blood. What? Oh my... Oh, what this, there's a rat here! <gasps> Gross! Some sick bastard cut open this rat, but why? Should I? It's really stuck in there. Whoever did this must have been very strong. Poor rat. Spider webs everywhere. Ugh, I hate the damn things. It's a metal toolbox. I'm sure I could find something useful in there. Yeah, and I'm sure this scarecrow thingy here isn't gonna freaking scare me later. Mm. Will the electrician come by? What if they're looking for their tools and they can't find them? None of my business. <laughs> I'll give it back to him if he asks. A pair of pincers. I've taken these from the toolbox. A box cutter. I'm sure it'll cut through other things too. Okay. Well, the screwdriver is a lost cause unless if we want to do some... Can I do something about this? No, I can't open the inventory here. So I guess that's that. Unless if I can... Oh, I can do that. Use the pincers. Oh! Oh, wow, I'm a genius. This screwdriver will need a good wipe. Uh, I'm surprised the rat is even still on the... Whatever that is. Is that a plate? Like a dinner plate? It's still covered in rat's blood. Ooh. Alright. Well... It was nice to meet you, George. I must get going now. That's it. The whole farm is owned by this family and there's nobody here now. Does anyone even maintain the actual farming part of this place? I'm gonna hold off on the meal for last, maybe. Oh, can we get some water in the can? A watering can? What looks like a toy dug is apparently a watering can. What madman came up with the idea, and who bought it? Cool. Uh, was there no plant around this area? Maybe I should just make George the meal right now. I kind of want to hold off on it to see if we can make something else. Because there's the, the tuna too, and... Yeah, I don't want George to eat this crap, so I, I don't know. Maybe there's other stuff. Water the plant. Now, one watering takes away 30% water, which means 
I should probably fill this up again already, while the sink is still nearby. Okay, sweet. There was a... was there a fern here? Nice plant, I can't see it actually. Mm hmm. And uh, just out of curiosity again... No, that's it. I was thinking about that hamster outside. I guess the hamster died and they just half buried it for some reason. I don't think we got the lock right, so nothing to do out here. Oh, unless if I... I can do something by... Mm, wa water it. There's nothing to water here! Well, that's just like your opinion, man, Angie. Alright, do you want some tuna? <laughs> okay, no. Yeah. What are the chances that cat we saw had the key? The cat jumped off to the left side, but we didn't see anybody on the left side, so I don't know how we're gonna find that kitty again. Good. And then... The there was a... What was the last plant? Let me get some water here. Might as well. Last plant, where were you again? Were you inside one of the rooms? Hamster cage. I feel like we can put something here to like transfer it to the other room, but obviously not something we need to do at this moment. Oh, there we go. All right, sweet. I suppose we can probably like, oh, can we like make his bed or something? No. I don't want to cut up his bed or put tuna on his bed. Probably. Okay, let me just really quickly... Save up. If I find something pretty, I can put it here. No. Oh, hold on. Did I visit the basement earlier? I think I held off on it and then I forgot about it afterwards, right? Right. Oh. Okay. Sorry, George. Just, uh, one second. Maybe I'll find some better food for you in the basement. <laughs> oh, hold on. I can still see. Let's save the battery for later. I have to worry about the battery? Uh, I think we should go. Oh. A red blinking eye of the boiler. Maybe we should go make that sandwich. Oh, cool. It's the fuse box. Locked. But I've got a screwdriver on me. Maybe that would work? But why do I wanna... Don't touch it if it's not broke, right? Uh... There is a strange sound coming from the other side. It's locked. Oh, well, you know, if it's locked, then I guess that's just that. I don't think we need to know, or uh, we don't know what we need to do here yet. Investigate the door in the basement. Well, let's make the sandwich first. Uh, yeah. Ooh, I don't know what that was all about. Close the door. Just in case. You never know. Mm. Oh, where is the... This is not where I want to be. I haven't seen any other food items around. Do I really have to make a sandwich? What about this wine thingy? 
put the tuna in the- I can't just pour tuna on this. <laughs> okay. Maybe- can we ask him? No. Let me know if you- uh, Royal. Sorry, you've been waiting long enough. I'll get you that sandwich. The lady said she left me a list, but I don't see the list. Prepare a meal. Oh. What? Oh my god. <laughs> this is fancy. Um... Well, she said the tuna was kind of crap, right? Did he mention what sandwich he liked? Otherwise, plain ham and cheese would be... Personally, just give me cheese. That's all I need. Egg is pretty good. Maybe some... Oh, shoot. I need another bread, don't I? Or... Might have messed up. I think some veggies is good. You, <laughs> you made a strange sandwich. <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. Or we could just have, like, a bread sandwich. <laughs> that works, too. No, 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 no. What's fresh? What's good? It'll tell me, right? So, for starters, how about we actually sandwich it between two pieces of bread? When I make sandwiches, I don't put the bread on top, because I feel like it's just carbs, so I don't do that, actually. Bacon? I don't know. Cheese! You gotta have cheese, right? Some lettuce. Does George like ham or bacon? Tomato? Oh no, I forgot the I forgot the bread again. This is too five ingredients is too limiting. I want a better sandwich. What's determining I can only get five? Okay, I can only have three ingredients inside then. Well, cheese has gotta be in there. And then Tomato, yeah, it's gotta be not so dry. Tomato, ham. Good enough? What, really? Really? Can I? What determines if it's a good one or a bad one? Because I'm, I'm guessing that you made a strange sandwich message is supposed to be like an indication of how good it is. Is it not? Maybe I'll try a few more combinations. Eggs. You gotta have cheese. Cucumbers. What, really? Is everything strange? Really? Okay. I made a jam sandwich. Bread, jam, bread. This is the only combination I've found so far that is not resulting in a strange sandwich message. <laughs> um... I mean, okay. It's pretty crappy though, it's like... Yeah, there's not even any... I wouldn't like it, I don't like jam. Jam sandwich, when you just can't be bothered. Uh, I can make another one. No, never mind, okay. Well, it's gotta beat strange sandwich, right? I don't know, man. I tried like 50 combinations there. But maybe not stuffing it to the brim was the idea. Was that a good thing? He seems to be enjoying a sandwich. Uh... Why are the lights off? What the hell? I guess I gotta go check the fuse box. That's my cue. Even though Angie can clearly see in the dark. Wait, does George not care? His TV is off. Are you okay, George? Doesn't seem like there's any... Yeah, there's no indicator of battery life, which is good. Because I don't... I'm not here about that. Uh, I guess we gotta... Um, gotta go down to the basement again. Oh, my watering can's gone. I was gonna fill it again just now. For absolutely no reason other than I can. Where was the basement? What? Time for bed. Night night, my dear. Good night, George. How did you get... Oh, I almost forgot to thank you for that sandwich. 
I really enjoyed it. <laughs> You're welcome. Joyce never makes him like that. It's always porridge or pasta or bloody marmalade on toast. She just won't listen. If you're still here come winter time, I'll buy you an orange for Christmas. Oh, thank you, George. I'm supposed to help you up. I'm supposed to help him up. I gotta make sure he's okay. It's so dark right now, too. I don't just live here. Come on, Angie. What are you doing, man? Where was George's room again? I just want to make sure he's okay. He looks very peaceful. Hmm, he actually seems like he's maneuvering around pretty well. He needs a, a cane and all that. But otherwise not doing too badly. I don't know how he was feeling around in the dark though, man. Like, I can, I can barely see. What? Oh, okay. I can't even see that the door opened because it's so dark. I think I might have pre-solved some stuff here. Opening the... The boiler is off. There's no power. Well then freaking turn it on. We good? Oh. Oh. Hello again, little one. Hmm. It's alright. You don't have to be afraid of me. I don't bite. Not running away this time. Good. You know I wouldn't hurt you, my little fairy friend. I love cats. Me too. In fact, if I wasn't fucking dying of cancer, I'd probably get a dozen cats to live with me. <laughs> People would call me a crazy cat lady. But I just wouldn't give a shit. But would you be the crazy cat lady, though? I'm very curious about that key on your neck. What's it for? Would you mind if I borrowed it? Ah. Aww. Kitty? Don't leave me alone down here. Did you give me the key? No, you didn't give me the key? The fuse box is okay. It's still locked. Oh, well, you know, that's just too bad. That's just too bad. Oh. Where are you going, buddy? How did you even get in, first of all? Do we really want to play hide and seek? Come on, kitty. Where are you? Probably not in the bedroom. My bedroom. Hmm. Kitty, there's a locked door here as well. There you are. Kitty? Oh, you're looking at the hamster cage. Maybe you're hungry. Should I get you some food? What's so interesting about this old cage? I can pick it up. Mm. Are you trying to tell me something, Kitty? It's alright, Kitty. Kitty doesn't seem convinced. It's alright, Kitty. Um. Bottles of expired medicine, some jewelry and makeup are lying on the table. Oh, whoa! <gasps> there's two! I would have thought there wouldn't be one here because there's one outside as well. 
There's a dead hamster inside. Judging by the pink color, I can only assume it was a girl. <laughs> it's a very gender-conforming household. Uh, is, that, is that a good idea? I don't want to put a dead hamster in my pocket if I can avoid it. So you'd be okay if you had some kind of a container? Like the cage it's currently in? Uh, a tea box? Why? What the hell am I doing? <laughs> That's what I'm wondering. Oh, kitty. Where are you off to now? The computer. The grave. Mm, okay, well, let's go to the grave. Maybe the kitty wants to reunite the two hamsters, or maybe the kitty wants to eat the hamsters. I'll close that door. I'm scared of that crap. Oh, it's nighttime now. Hello, kitty. Were you friends with these rodents? Is that why you brought me here? I don't know about that. Were you friends with- Okay. Is- Yes. Hmm. The dead hamster rests inside the tea box like it's a tiny little coffin. Rest in peace, little guys. Two lovers sleeping forever in a shared grave. I wish I was this lucky. I'll probably just have worms with me in the coffin, munching on my carcass. And spiders. Horrible fucking spiders. God damn it. I'm really not ready for any of this. This shouldn't be happening. I don't want to die. Mmm. It's tough. Like she, could, she says she doesn't want to die, but that's the very first thing she tried in the in the beginning here. She tried killing herself because it feels like there's nothing to live for. But at the heart of it, she doesn't actually want to die. It's just... She can't see where to go in her life. Hmm. This cat clearly has some sort of a spiritual leaning. I'm telling you this because you're a cat. And cats know about these things. Oh. Thank you. Can I have your key? Thank you, darling. We gotta close the doors, though. The people here don't like you going in. Cat's key. It wasn't easy, but I finally got it. Now I bet a very special key like this opens a very special door somewhere. Oh, it can't be the basement. That's not gonna work. It can't be the basement. I'm still so worried about the thing about how we might get one-hitted. But we don't have a weapon. Will we have a weapon? We can hide in the closet if it's two bodies. Remember? <laughs> Oh, let's turn on the... What? Are you serious? Angie, you're <laughs> you're relying on the boiler light. Alright, bring it on. Bring it on. Facing my nightmares head on. Okay. So dark. So dark, I can't see. What 
What the hell? Wait, that sound isn't me. That sound isn't me. Okay, great. Would you like uh, to give me an ashtray somewhere? I can hear the sound of footsteps from behind that door. Let's not open that. Oh no. Oh, there's a giant crocodile on the wall. I can hear wind gently blowing on the other side. I can hear the sound of footsteps from behind the door. Revotion? Devotion? Revotion? The faint sound of hospital equipment can be heard through the door. I can smell smoke. Something's burning on the other side of this door. Look on top of the door, there's a skull. There's no sounds coming from this door. Oh. Uh. An ancient corpse of a woman is bound by dry roots. There's a metal rod sticking out of her abdomen and a piece of paper. What could it be? I'm sorry. Piercing her abdomen? Here lies a path to burn house lane. One, with a blue sky above you. Whisper, I'm only afraid of dying because I haven't lived yet. Blue sky? Okay, blue sky. Of the doors that we've seen so far, I like the one that has the gentle breeze behind it. Something splashing on the other side of this door. One of the boards is loose. Could there be something hidden underneath? The gap is too narrow to pry it with my fingers, but I've got tools. A bunch of wires, plenty of dust, but at least I'm not seeing any spiders in there. Oh yeah, that's the biggest of my worries so far. Also, there's a scrap of paper wedged behind the boards. I should probably take it. Plug in electric cable. Ooh. Oh, there's more. There's more. Number two. As a reptile's gaze falls upon you, ask her, is this the end? The crocodile? If we go through the doors, I'm guessing we'll end up back here and then they'll make me choose again. Maybe that's the thing? Uh... Okay, it's... it's... it's all good. There's a strange sound coming from behind the door. It looks like a button. What does it do? This door feels hot to the touch. How far does this place go? Oh, it looped. I didn't press the button. Should I press it? Oh, I don't think I can go back. Mm, let's press it. Let's press it, even though we have no idea what it does and it looks dangerous and scary and... <sighs> oh. Good thing we did that then, huh? Whoever's walking around, you can kind of tell they're barefoot by the sound of their walking. Is it barefoot? It sounds like a big fat barefoot walking on marshes or something. Something kind of wet. A hidden compartment. That was kind of obvious. I should have known. Not obvious at all. All right. Number three. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, this makes it so much easier. 
With these words, pray to the gods at the altar of sun. I give myself to you. The hot place? Hot place being the sun. The path to burn house lane. Blue sky. Reptile's gaze. And then altar of the sun. Blue sky. Blue sky. No, the blue sky was like the beginning. The, the wind? What the hell? Wasn't there one with like the wind or something? Oh. Oh, it's the same as the reptile one. Is that okay? Is that correct? I'm only afraid of dying because I haven't lived yet. Hmm. Is this the end? I give myself to you. Okay. That's impossible. Am I going crazy? That's a blue sky, right? I'm only afraid of dying because I haven't lived yet. As the reptile's gaze falls upon you, is it the same door then? That's what I'm worried about, because usually it wouldn't be the same door, right? But the reptile is clearly here. With the reptile's gaze above you, is this the end? Is this the end? I can't tell if that means bad things are happening or good things are happening. And then the altar of the sun looks very sunny. Uh, I give myself to you. Pray to the gods. Fire everywhere. The glowing light feels as bright as the sun. We can probably open all the doors, but I'm not about to open that one with the door steps, okay? That's just not happening. <laughs> I give myself to you. Uh oh. I don't think that was right then. Because the. Yeah, I'm guessing the mistake is probably. That the first one should be something else with the blue sky above you? Oh, I'm sorry, with the blue sky above you, it should be like a symbol on top of the door then, right? I was thinking it was a blue sky because... Oh, I'm so this is the blue sky! Ah, I was looking at the blue sky inside the door. Hospital bed. Okay. I'm only afraid of dying because I haven't lived yet. There we go. I'm so oh, okay. We got it. We got it. Is this the end? I could barely tell that was a blue sky. Everything here is so scary. I give myself to you. Welcome to Burnhouse Lane. There's no way someone's built all this under the farmhouse. Sewers, piping, water. Oh! Ooh. 
What the fuck? It's funny because I'm pretty sure Angie's only saying what the fuck to the part about the ladder falling down and not the everything else. <laughs> There's light up there coming from coming through what looks like a manhole. So Burn House Lane is, um, a house? A neighborhood? Or a state of mind? Or both? Burn House Lane? 72A. I'm not going in, though. <laughs> 